Hi, who do we have here? What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Sherry Lynn, yeah. and I'm from Nextdale, Ontario. Okay, okay. And where were you born and raised? Victoria. I was born in Victoria, D.C. Uh-huh. until four years of age. Yeah. And I've been uh, here for the rest of my uh, life. 50, 54 years I've been in Toronto, Ontario. Wow. And um, how old are you again? 59. 59. Uh, what is it that the government can do to help you guys? Well, uh, they, I was homeless for three months, and they said, they said if I stayed homeless for nine months, they would get my benefits to help pay my rent and get me out of the shelter system. I would share over $56 in late rent. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think that was fair. I was living there for four years, and I would give my whole OW, and my daughter got paid bi-weekly. So she'd give me the $56 on the 14th. Well, the landlord didn't like that and evicted me over $56. Wow, because of that? Yeah. Because of $56? Yeah. And how three, three months in a row, 56 times 56 is uh, 112, uh, 162, $168 I was short. Wow, wow. And I was there for four years with a different management. They left and a bachelor Jew man came in and didn't like that I was, just, I was two weeks late for $56. Because my daughter got paid on the 14th of the month, and yeah. I got paid on the 1st of the month. So I would give my whole check. When she got paid on the 14th, she would give me her half. Yeah. And I would pay the balance, $56. He didn't like that. I would help clean up around the dog yard. Mm-hmm. I would help clean broken bottles in the pool. Yeah. Do anything I could to help so he wouldn't hold $56 against me. Exactly. I was there four years, and the new management came in and evicted me. Wow. And how long have you been homeless? I was homeless for... Uh, Almost four years. Four years. And what's the worst thing you've seen in that four years? The worst thing is people die. From overdose? Yeah. When was the last time that there was an overdose in this place? Uh, I've been gone. I got housing. I got a brand new condo in Pickering, Ontario. Wow. I'm proud. I'm proud. Well, you got a smile on my face. Yeah. So I left here uh, five months ago. I now live in a uh, $2,000 a month condo. Yeah. And because I was homeless for more than a year... My benefits pays 500 for me, and my benefits pays 500 for my man. Okay. And then 500 comes out. I refuse to quit working. I worked for local 506 for the last six years of my working, and I got an infection in my foot. I went to Hunger Memorial Hospital on Church Street at Canaan Church, yeah. and the emergency department refused to remove the corn from my foot. I went home New Year's Eve and cried myself to sleep in front of my 28-year-old daughter. And when I woke up, I had a golf ball of, of poison on the side of my foot. I went back to the same hospital with my daughter, and she made the man remove the corn. Wow. I then got cellulitis in this way. Wow, yeah. And then when I was in this shelter right here, Delta East, yeah. I lost all the nerve damage in my right foot. And I was going to also ask you, what's the... Um What's the, uh, you've been homeless, you said, for four years, right? Almost four Almost years. Four. What's the worst thing that you've seen in that four years? Mm-hmm. Absolute worst. Absolute worst. And when I came to this shelter here, I met the most kindest man on the ninth floor. And we, we got along so good. He was, uh, he was married. He had a 14 year old daughter and his wife left him. And, um, the first six months I was here, all he ever wore was a black pair of sock pants and a burgundy house coat. So I didn't know his name. I called him the house coat man. Yeah. I brought him back to life twice. Wow. The third time, I wasn't there and nobody brought him back. I knew him for a year and a half. He was like a brother to me. He would do anything for me. He would give me a cigarette. He'd come for a walk with me. He'd listen to my problems. And the third time he died beside me, I couldn't remind him. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. And he was the kindest, that was the kind he would ever know. Wow. Even his heard go. Wow, and I'm sorry to hear that, man. And what do you think the government should do to help you guys? Um, make more shelters. Yeah. Um, but I was told when I came into the shelter system 2018, July 19th, 2018, over $56. And I was told if I stayed homeless for nine months, they would get me a my benefits uh building and not Ontario housing, sorry, not Ontario housing, 
it would be a brand new condo in Pickering, Ontario, and they done that. Okay. So it's twenty twenty one dollars a month. Wow. I was never homeless. I was uh, I became homeless at uh, four, fifty nine, six, thirty, fifty two years of age. Fifty two wow. years of age, my first time homeless, and I came here in nineteen sixty eight from Victoria, BC. I'm an army brat, the youngest of four. My dad fought for World War Two. Sorry to hear this. And I was going to ask you about this pandemic, this this uh, fentanyl pandemic. How, how is it gripping our nation? Like what? Like it's terrible. It's, it's, it's worse than heroin. It's worse than heroin. It's worse than heroin. Uh, your man said he was up for eight days. For uh, he's been up for eight days. Being from, dope sick. Yeah. Yeah. Being dope sick. Because living here, you can get it anywhere. Yeah. You can, you can walk five feet and get. You can yeah. go two feet and get. We're in Pickering now. We don't know anybody. So we got on the Delada program, which is where you take pills to yeah, get, get rid of the pain. Yeah. But um, because we couldn't make it to Danforth and uh, Maine yeah. to, to renew our strip every week, yeah. they slowly, every week we missed, they would take us down one Delada. He was on 31 Deladas a month for his... My husband of six years lost a lung 19 years ago from cancer. Wow. Is still here today. Survivor, yeah. Survivor. Yeah. And now has Crohn's in his intestines. And only has half of his intestines left. And he's Italian and he's still here today. Tough man. Tough, tough man. I've seen him. I spoke to him. He's a lovely gentleman. Oh, he's got and a lot of And I love the way you guys have each other's back. The way you guys love each other. I really love that. Because it's rare to see... Especially when people are going through these sort of things. 